Hello YouTube. We got another subwoofer box design for you today. This one's for four 12 inch subwoofers. This box was originally designed to fit into a Cadillac Escalade, an older one. But if you find that it'll fit into whatever you have that's not a Cadillac Escalade, then go ahead and use it. Um, anyway, it's got two 7x7 seven seven inch square ports for 98 total square inches of port area. It's for 412s as you can see and it's internally braced. Uh, it's tuned to 34 hertz and after all the calculations I found it was 9.95 cubic feet which puts it right around the ballpark for quite a few different subwoofers. Um, so as you can see here the baffle is braced by this 2x4 and it's a double baffle. Then it's got these 2x2s that brace the walls here in the middle on each side. Then it's got another 2x4 to brace the bottom of the box. Each wall of the box is somewhat braced by these ports here. Um, and then I really like what the top of this box looks like when that's in the back of the car. It just looks really nice with those subs the placement there so again I'll, I'll just give you a little rundown of how to build it I've got the cut sheets just cut everything out then you're gonna wanna get these two top pieces here it's a double baffle and then spread your glue nice layer of glue wood glue and I usually screw these together I, I don't think I'd recommend clamping because I don't know if you're gonna get even pressure across everything but I screw them together However you want to do that, that works for you, it's fine. If you want to cut the holes out first, and you're good at that, that's fine. I usually cut them out afterwards, but you could cut them out first. Um, so anyway, get those cut out and glued together, and then start building the perimeter of your box. You know, have your bottom piece here, then put on your back side, your left, your front, and your right side. Um, and then you can put your ports in. You know, I I would recommend putting your port pieces together outside the box, you know, so you just pop this piece right in there. Um, I use liquid nails adhesive when I build these, by the way, for all these parts. For the baffle, I use just regular wood glue. And then, anyway, uh, you can put your braces in, these little 2x2s and 2x4s. This will just be going across the top. And then you can put on your baffle. I mean, you could do this a different way if you wanted. If you wanted to do a different order of building it, I guess. But this is how I do it. And uh, when I put on the baffle, I just I use copious amounts of liquid nails across the top here. Then, of course, just put those on, and the box is done. Obviously, I, I uh, it's going to take a bit longer to build it than it does to explain how to build it, but. I think it's a good box. It was really, really loud with the kickers that eventually went in here, kicker CVXs. Um, it also worked pretty good with these Boss Phantom 12-inch subwoofers that the guy had in place uh, why, while the CVXs were on back order. I don't like those subs. Don't get those subs, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> but if you tune this box just a little lower make the box a little longer it would be good for like the power acoustic GW124s yeah as it is it's already pretty good for them um, it's pretty good for a lot of 12 inch subwoofers I think it's a good box uh, but anyway that's the box design I'll have the link to the archive.org where the files are at so all the cut sheets and the model you can open it with FreeCAD look at it spin it around and stuff and uh, Anyway, let me know if you build one, if you like it, if you don't like it. Um, if you make a video about building it or if you put it in your car, let me know. I'd love to see it. Anyway, have yourself a great day and enjoy the design.